What's up, wrestling fans? The salaries of the AEW stars have leaked, allegedly. Um, let's go over the ones that we know about because this may or may not be true. We don't know how true it is, uh, to be honest. CM Punk's $5 million, we know that that's probably true. John Moxley's $5 million, we know that's true. And uh, Chris Jericho's $3 million, we know that's true. Omega, $3 million, I guess. I didn't I guess that's true. I thought maybe he was getting two or three million. We thought that so and the reason why Omega is getting so much is because he's like a founder of the company, you know what I mean? That sort of thing. Same thing with Nick and Matt Jackson. So they their amounts make sense. Two million. I can also buy the Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson is getting two point five million dollars because he comes from the WWE and has that sort of that big name thing there. So, okay. That, I suppose, I believe that. I am shocked to to hear that MJF is getting $2 million. That must have been a new deal that they worked out at some point with MJF. And which m- might have been when he took that time off and he was missing that they restructured his deal. I don't know if that's true, but $2 million for MJF is surprising. It's not surprising because that's how much I was saying he should be offered. and But that was when I was under the impression that he was making $250,000 or less. Do you know what I mean? So, like, I was really going to bat for MJF, but now, I mean, finding out that they're saying $2 million. Sting getting paid $2 million. Um, Adam Cole apparently getting paid $1.5 million. That's crazy to me. Um Britt Baker getting paid $1.5 million as well, so they make the same amount, husband and wife. One of them uh, started with the company. The other came from NXT WWE. Soraya, Paige, Soraya, whatever, she's getting paid $1.5 million. I believe that as well because she comes from the WWE and has all that prestige, I guess. I... Jeff Hardy is getting paid $1.5 million. Christian, $1.5 million. Jay White. Jay White is getting paid $1.5 million. For fucking what? Nobody gives a shit or knows who this guy really is besides about 300 people. Are you seriously paying this fucking guy who's done almost nothing so far $1.5 million? Are you serious? This list can't be real. Somebody find Jay White and find out if this is real. And I don't care if he tells you the exact amount, but he can say thumbs up or thumbs down on this. Thumbs down, and then I'm going to know he's making probably... $200,000. $200,000. Thumbs up. Phew. And the one below that. Now, listen, I understand that Keith Lee is a wasted pile of shit. You don't need to, I don't need to rant on Keith Lee again. I was a Keith Lee fan when he was in NXT. I love, I liked Keith Lee a lot. And I was like, man, this guy's good. But I now think he's garbage and a garbage fucking person. I'm talking about as far as creatively. Keith Lee might be a good person in real life, but as far as his creative talent, it's devoid of fucking logic. This is a guy who couldn't come up with something entertaining enough to do in the WWE. This is a guy who said that Vince McMahon's ideas to make him angry were stupid and he didn't understand it. This is a guy who didn't understand the bear cat gimmick. He has no gimmick. Keith Lee just comes out and goes, well, salutations. And as Conan, as Conan says, are you going to fuck the guy or are you going to wrestle? Bro, Keith Lee is a pile of trash. And the guy's getting paid $1.5 million. 
I have more personality in this pinky than Keith Lee has in his entire essence. It's very sad and pathetic. I used to think Keith Lee was really good in NXT, and I was like, wow, that guy's amazing. Like, I want to, I'd pay to see him. Now you couldn't pay me to watch him. You couldn't pay me to watch Keith Lee because I know Keith Lee is a fraud waste of crybaby shit. The guy has no ideas, and every idea is boring. His personality is boring. The way he speaks is boring. The only thing he has going for him is sometimes he pulls off what a maneuver in the ring. I don't really understand the Bearcat gimmick. I don't really understand. Well, I guess you understand how to sucker a retard like Tony Khan out of a million and a half dollars. And maybe I'm just mad. Man, I am so mad that I didn't get into AEW as a commentator or a voice or a whatever because, boy, for $1.5 million, Keith Lee is a waste of fucking space. He is a waste of space, and you know it, and I know it. And Jay White is a waste of space. What the hell kind of charisma has that guy brought or done? Nobody knows who he is. He looks like a fucking lost pirate. And you're wasting $3 million between those two people? These numbers can't be real. This can't be right. I'm telling you, bro, if this list is right, I am stabbing myself to death tomorrow night. Samoa Joe, $1.5 million. I guess for being Samoa Joe and the legend, like, he has a career that, okay. Like, I, I, I think everyone is overpaid. Everybody is probably overpaid here, you know, for what they're delivering. But at the same time, I'm, like, happy for the wrestlers, too. Like, I'm not, they're not overpaid. It's great that they're not, because... I would rather be, listen, don't get me wrong. I would rather be sitting here complaining that they're overpaid than them being underpaid, okay? Because that is disgusting. These wrestlers put their lives on the line. They do crazy stuff. Like, the the body, everything that they're involved in, like, I would 100% rather them be overpaid. Or, or in my opinion, overpaid. I'm sure people would get angry at that. But you know what I'm saying? Um, I find no value in Keith Lee at this point, but he suckered his way into $1.5 million. I, I, I don't ever understand the allure of Jay White, but maybe he'll prove me wrong and I'll be sitting here swallowing my words and jizz. Samoa Joe, listen, if those guys are going to get $1.5 million, then Samoa Joe should get fucking $5 million. If Keith Lee is getting $1 million, why isn't Samoa Joe getting $5 million? That's what I want to do. This is fucking making me angry. This is making me fucking angry! Fucking throw my dinner plates on the floor and fucking... This is fucking... This is the fucking money they're fucking making. Like, are you serious? I don't have advertisements, guys. I have no advertisements right now, really. At least I don't have to plug any right now. So the only thing I can say to do right now is if you like my videos in this video, leave a super thanks down below with your opinions. We're not done with this list. This list continues. If you're brand new to the channel, hit the sub button, hit the like button, don't miss my daily videos, or, you know, be a pussy and don't sub. I don't know. Whatever you want. Whatever happens. But leave me a super thanks down below. I'll pin it to the top of this comment section uh, if you do. Miro getting paid $1 million. Now, I don't blame Miro. I think they don't know what they're doing with him. They don't know what, what he's worth. They don't know what to do with him. He just sits at home and makes a million dollars. Okay. Isn't it such a slap in the face that Miro's making a million and that Keith Lee, Samoa Joe, and Jay White, but mostly Keith Lee and Jay White, are making $1.5 million? <laughs> Miro um, uh, has done more. Miro's been better in AEW than Keith Lee. And Keith Lee doesn't even... I don't even know. It's, and Miro hasn't done much of anything in eight months or a year. Unbelievably funny. Um, Dax and Cash are making a million each, it says. I thought they were offered a million or two million each in WWE and they turned it down for about $300,000 in AEW. 
This is where I wonder if this list is wrong or maybe they got re-signed and this list is updated. But I thought they were each making about $300,000. But uh, now this thing says they each make a million. Claudio makes a million. Paul White makes a million. Matt Hardy makes a million. You know, Paul White and Matt Hardy, obviously, like, you know, I, I can't argue those. Malachi Black makes a million. So Malachi Black is valued as much as the the legendary Hall of Famers, um, whatever. Tony Storm makes a million dollars. Why? Dude, so my theory is that they're afraid to offer any of the women on this on this list, according to this list, if this list is correct, then my theory is that they're just afraid to offer women less than a million dollars. Tony Storm makes a million. Jade Cargill makes a million. Um, Orange Cassidy makes a million, so he's a female. Um, Paige Van Zant makes a million. Paige Van Zant makes a million? For what? For what? Jim Ross makes a million dollars. The broken down Jim Ross makes a million dollars. Man, AEW, you hire me for five hundred thousand dollars. I'll I'll be the new I'll be the voice. I'll be the voice. I'll be a I'll be a manager. Blow your fucking mind, by the way, if I was a manager. Can you imagine if I was a manager in AEW, the type of stuff? I'll blow your mind. But go ahead and don't do it. Brian Cage makes a million dollars on his new deal. And that's why Brian Cage signed here, because he may have never really gotten a contract from WWE, and he figured, oh, I'll, I'll just sign four years, a million dollars. Whatever. You know, that's the most money. Because the alternative is Brian Cage, you know, either fails or doesn't do anything in WWE for a year or two, or he just goes back to the indies wrestling small little places and making, you know, thirty, forty thousand $40,000 a year. But now he can securely become a millionaire. You know what I mean? Like, he's probably got... You know, 50000 he, he probably, you know, I don't know how much money he has in the bank. I don't know. I don't know what Brian Cage could have in the bank. But let's say Brian Cage had anywhere from, you know, $20,000 to $100,000 in his bank account. You know, he's sitting there thinking, you know, this is the rest of my life. will be kind of like having a little chunk in the bank, maybe. But I'll have to work a regular job. He has, he has to go get a job as a realtor or as a cook or something, I don't know what he would do. And then work wrestling on the side, make 20,000, you know, and then he'd, you know, he'd be me making like, you know, whatever he makes a year, 50, 60, $70,000 a year struggling, you know, doing the middle class, lower middle class thing, whatever it is. And uh, then he was like, you know what? F that I'm going to make a million dollars, you know, and probably make $1.5 million over the next five years in wrestling, you know, bank about three to $400,000, and uh, then after that, whatever he decides to do in retirement or with the rest of his life, it's easy. It's like, all right, I'm going to work a part-time job, you know, make thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year wrestling, part-time job. And I've got that, you know, half a million in the bank. I'm good. Life's fine. I'm good. So I get that. So there you have it. There's the alleged leaked salaries. I mean, we know CM Punk's is right. Moxley's right, Omega's right, Jericho's right, Danielson's right, Jackson, Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson, they're right. Not sure about MJF. Sting is probably right. And then we went through, I mean, half of these we can almost verify. We can verify for sure almost half of these. We know they're right. So, hey, man, I guess this this is accurate. I mean, Tony Storm's going to make millions of dollars a, a month on her friggin' OnlyFans or whatever it is. I mean, so this is like peanuts to her at this point. But uh, there it is, man. There's the con alleged contract statuses of all the wrestlers. Are you surprised by this? Boy, there's some, there's a lot of people who missed out on a lot of money if this list is true, who could have gone to AEW. Uh, people on the independent scene right now who are living off peanuts still are like, damn, I missed this by whatever reason they missed it. You know what I mean? <sighs> Talking about guys like Nick Aldis, who's a pussy and blocked me on Twitter for whatever reason, we don't know. Hey, Nick Aldis, are you getting paid this in uh, NWA? How about that, Nick? 
Your wife makes more than you do. Anyway, uh, here's some other videos popping up on the screen that you might have missed, so watch and continue to watch my channel. This is The Joe Cronin Show, and I want you to leave me comments down below because I can't wait to read these fucking things. Um, we'll see you next time. Subscribe if you got any balls.